Welcome back. My name is Nightmare, and we're now in the sixth video, making this part three of the Undead Burg. And we left off here after dying at the bridge with the big dragon and the locked door, which I should have been actually. Oh no, actually. It is still all right. The key I have is for another door. All right, all right, all right. Everything's fine. Let's continue through this far gate. All right. Um, had a bit of a panic there because I thought like, oh God, no, I have to make another character or continue with the low one and have to delete this one. Ah, well, another backstab fail. But again, you can just slowly walk up to him, Night Shield, walk up to him and stab him just as he turns around and then finish him with one shot and he can't do anything. Be wary of night. Oh. Go up here, take him out. Go here. Now. This is a trap. There's a spear guy to the right and one of these uh, knights, or the balder knights, uh, to the left. Now what you can do is run out, run back in. Then the spear guy will not come fast at you, so you have time, and the other guy, he will come for you. So let's actually show you how to do that. I would, What I would personally do now, if I wasn't making this video for as a walkthrough, I would run with speed out, kill the spear guy real quick, and then turn around to face the uh, Balder Knight. But I'm not. I'm gonna show you how it's easier. See, there he comes. Just run back up the stairs. And go here, so you have some more room to actually fight him. Now these guys. There are two types of them. One with the big uh, shield, as you can see now, and the one with a small uh, round shield. Whoa, 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 holy crap. And the ones with the round shield, they can repost you or parry you or whatever you want to... Holy crap. Heal up. Because that guy is kicking my ass. Because I'm trying to explain stuff. Alright. Once he tries to, like, hit with his shield or something... Like when he does the big like shield slam thing, you can get behind him and stab him. Then they're not that tough. But that guy just... I took just a beating from him. Alright. But it's very simple, no big deal. Then you go left here. And head down here. Remember this guy? He closed the door in the other video. Take him out. Basement key. There we go. That's the key we need to open that door. Open the gate again. So we have another shortcut. Right, now we head up here. Get a halberd. Alright. Walk up here, then you just pull one of these guys. There's a one again with the big shield. They're not that dangerous. Holy crap, that shield attack. Stab him, finish him. Now what you can do is use your bow. And try to land a headshot for extra damage. And just wait for him to come. There he goes, does his attack, doesn't get backstabbed, but slaughtered anyways. Alright, now there's another guy here to the left, so just walk here. He has seen us. Now this is one of the guys with the uh, small shield. And they are dangerous. Because when he goes into the special um, position, come on, do it. 
Exactly like this. If you attack him now with a normal swing, he will parry you and then use the finishing move on you and that's... I can imagine might actually kill me with one shot now. So either just wait for him to change, like now. Make his attack, get behind him, stab him. What you also can do is you can kick him, like this. That will also get through there. Now you don't want to go up here, because there's a big guy back there. And you can fight him a lot easier. So we just head back up here. Need to start my timer again. God damn it! Forget it every time. Right now here, these guys no problem again. Just walk close to the little wall. Then you will just pull one, take him out, pull the next one. Fancy sword play here. Yeah, archers no problem. They have no defense whatsoever. Alright, now, just walk here, he will see us and come for us. Now, he looks a lot more menacing than he actually is. With his huge maze shield combo. Come on. Just wait for him to use his swings. Go on. Hold! Crap. I took all of my stamina to block. Ooh. Yeah, but as you can see, it's not that bad. If you play it the right... No, no you don't. Yeah, so stay close to them, they will try to uh, heal up, and you don't want that, not one bit. Alright, then you go up here, you get a nice item here, another Firekeeper Soul to increase the power of your Estus Flask. Now, that guy up there, if you have your bow, and enough arrows you can kill him from here, without going up and having problems. Well, let's see. Well, it's not quite headshot yet. Ow. Okay, not the right position yet. Okay, still not. No. We can also do this like that and always go away, but this might not work as you just seen. So the best thing is actually get a headshot, that he does that animation and then keep on hitting him. I think we actually might have the sweet spot now. Yes. But he is stuck in that animation all the time. You can just finish him off with a few quick headshots. There's nothing you can do about it. Because what that guy will do, he's not tough by himself. There he goes. But he will buff the other monsters around him, and you don't want that. Not one bit. And he doesn't respawn, so that's good. So you're not gonna continue here. What you're gonna do is run down here. can hear it probably is the beating of metal which means we have found our first blacksmith and another bonfire Gonna rest at that get our health back yeah there he is Andre Learn his gesture for free. Here we can repair our stuff. 
Now he could... Yeah, well, we, we don't have an Ember yet, so he can't... He can upgrade stuff to plus 5 or I think plus 10, something like that. And then you can create the better wep weapons and later when you get the uh, more... Uh, the embers and stuff, you can create really nice ones. Like the one I have, Atorius' greatsword, is made from a broken straight sword. Like, get the, uh, you need a broken straight sword plus 10 and then the soul of the wolf, Sif. Then you can make this weapon. Or, like, to, to note, this is the cursed version of it, which allows me to fight ghosts but not block them, so I actually still have to use the stupid curses we got in the Suicide Run video. But you can also, you can attack them. But this is all stuff you are probably not very interested in, since you can't get this stuff yet, at this point, with your first character. So, continuing on, we can kill these guys again for souls. As I said, sneaking up on them can work. There we go. Now we're invincible, as I said before. Roll away, roll away. Get our shield out again. And slam. Taking some damage, but taking them out. Tight night shard. All right. Now here is our shortcut. The next one we unlock now, which takes us down to Firelink Shrine. You can see the big tower. As you remember, this is actually where we drop down to get the items. The Morning Star, the free talisman and a few of the online items. Gonna hit the bonfire here. And we're gonna reverse our hollowing for the first time, which makes us human. Now, we can be invaded at this point by other players, so perhaps you will see me fail utterly at PvP, or perhaps win, you never know. So I'll just step back in, and this is now permanently open to us. Heading back up. You might have noticed this is not a male character this time, this is a female character. But it doesn't matter. Alright, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go up here. Oh uh, yeah, got him. Because you can get invaded really quickly here to the way to the boss. Hello. I might actually already been invaded. Not sure. Really not sure. I hope not. I hate getting invaded. Let's get that. Actually, let's. I'm not gonna rush this now just because I'm human. Let's do this step by step as I said I would. Go here. Get a larger soul. Then go here. That guy will come for us. Kill 
Allen. Use a flask. See this wall? Jump through it. Now, we in the last video we got the mystery key, which we're gonna use here. There we go. Then we talk to him. And again, talk to them a few times till he always says the same thing. Yeah. Now he will go to Firelink Shrine. And from there, we actually might need to go there real quick, otherwise. He's an option that we can summon. Like we can p summon players to our help, or summon uh, NPCs, like the guy on the. Oh God, damn it! We have been invaded. Let's see. Oh God. Do a bow. Let's see how we fare against him. I might do some sorcery on him. He seems to be in real heavy armor. I think he's fat rolling. So we might be actually faster than him. We shall see. Oh yeah. I don't think I will use sorcery. I think I can beat this guy without it. He's one. No, he doesn't. Thought he was gonna use some sorcery. And that was a mistake, my friend. And we successfully defeated our first enemy. Got some humanity, a few souls, not much. Because I think I really out leveled him I think I'm I'm pr I'm pretty sure I'm higher level than him so gonna head to filing shrine to talk to the guy we just freed nah <laughs> he got beat by a girl well not really but <laughs> Yeah, well, gonna high heartbeat now. Like every time you get invaded, it it is such a rush in this game because you don't know what they are gonna use on you, like the weapons or everything. Like I've seen it with um, when I leveled this character on the first try, first playthrough. There was a guy coming for me, he used one spell and I was dead. Some like metal. Let's see. Yes, yes, come on. Let's see. Yeah. Since I already have Estus Flask plus 7, I cannot reinforce it anymore with my uh, Firekeeper Souls. Now, what you can, you could uh, kick this guy off here, or kill him, and get some items. But I recommend not doing that, because he will, uh, at a certain point, kill her. Which um, cancels this bonfire, here at Firelink Shrine. And you get a 
an item and her armor, her robes, uh, and then you can go into another world and kill him and then get his armor and stuff, so I will not kill him. Alright, let's head back up. Now he is also available for us as a summon sign. And we probably will summon him and Solaire, the sun bro. Because I have this feeling we might not see a human companion. But who knows. Would be great for a human companion. But most of the time I usually just summon the NPCs because I didn't wait didn't want to wait forever. Just get this over with. So I'm gonna kill these guys again. Again, just walk slow. Till he turns, then use the backstab, then you can't be hurt. And then just finish off these guys. God damn it. Titanite shard. Set up real quick. So we don't get invaded again. Right in the face. Gonna heal? Come on, you wanna heal? I know it. Oh no, but I do. There we go. Like, as you can see, I get really a lot of salts uh, doing this. Because I need like 80,000 salts for one level up. And yeah. And triple kill. Like, three of those give me 435 souls. They will not do that for you on your first playthrough. Unless you're also here on New Game Plus, as I am. So, yeah. We got everything here, so we can head up now. Is that a summer sign? No. Try beating to a pulp. Be wary of tears. So let's see. What we have. Like back there? That's I think law track. Yes. And here we have Solaire. But no human summon signs, as I can see. So I'm just gonna grab the NPCs to help us out. Also, when you try to summon humans, it might actually not work. Because the network system for this game is really not great. But for these guys, it always works. Let's go and finish ringing the first bell. Going through here. Wait before you go out till they're both here. Right, now advance. And the next boss fight. This is the gargoyle fight. Big, fast, and annoying. Important to note, if you are not fast enough, a second one will come. So, yeah. Try to beat him quick. With help. Also important, see his tail? 
There we go. If you cut off his tail, you get the tail as a weapon. Which is quite nice. Always nice to have. There's the second one. He breathes fire. Let's return the favor. Throw some fire of our own. And down you go. And there we go. First victory. With help of our NPC friends. And now we also got a sunlight medal. Because we had Solaire survive the fight. Alright, heading up here. Up the ladder for quite a while. Here. Now, don't be scared, they don't wake up. Pull the lever, and we ring the first bell. at this point is not doing much for us. Since we need to ring both of the belts of awakening. So, just go back down. Keep in mind, we are still... You can still be invaded. Don't be scared of him. He just stands there with his weird pose. Good. Now from him you can buy some stuff, especially the purging stone is important. If you have a few souls to spare, I recommend buying one or two. Karmic justice. Actually I could buy that, I don't have that yet. I don't have that either. Or these rings. Actually, I'm gonna buy these rings. Buy that. Go on, buy it. I have two of those. I have one of those. Alright. Don't need to buy those. Already have two. And now, if you would invade other people, you can. Um, your sins, like killing other players, is a sin and you can take that away by him. Alright. Switching to another spell. Now what I also can do is place my sign here. So if somebody would, or is here and would like some help, he can summon me. It's also a good idea, like if you're human and you know you're not gonna need your SS flask, keep your white soap stone in, in the slot. And when that grays out, so you can't use him, that means you are very likely getting invaded at that point. So it's a good way to notice early and prepare yourself. Damn it. Take out those good. Now that I'm gonna go over to the blacksmith again, my sign's gonna disappear. There we go. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is a no summon area here. Yeah. I, 
I'm pretty sure I can't be invaded here. Well, it's a safe zone if you want to say that. Let's level up. I'm gonna go with strength. Just to show you, like, level 114 now. Uh, vitality and endurance is what I read up on. You need to get it to 40 each, and then you can start uh, investing into the other stats that you want. And I'll have pretty much everything I want, but I want more strength, because I want to increase that and use more strength weapons. Like to use this weapon, for example, the Black Knight Greatsword, which requires 23 strength. I can use it like this with two hands, no problem. But I can swing it with one hand. And as you can see, it does 220 damage, and my Artorius Greatsword does 267 damage. And it, it is upgraded and everything. So, yeah, I'm. I have a strong weapon, but it could be a lot stronger. Alright. I'm gonna head over here. Actually, what we're gonna try is we're gonna try to invade somebody. See if we can be one of the jerks to screw with people. Backstab. Usually I would not invade, but it's just gonna. I don't want to cut this video too long, so I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna see if we can try. I'm gonna try it two or three times. Always the stupid waiting to invade people, to summon people to your world to help you. Should probably not working. I have this feeling. Should get a message: invading failed. Failed to invade. There we go. Let's try another. I haven't successfully invaded a world yet. I only get invaded. I no, I successfully defended myself a couple of times, even against stronger people. Like you can tell how strong an enemy is approximately about how much souls you get for defeating him. And then you multiply that by a certain amount and then you can kind of get where he's level is like I have seen a video where people where he kills someone and he gets like a ridiculous amount of salt like in the hundreds of thousands and that means that character is like level hundred no, even not even in the hundreds he's way higher like 500 or something it's really ridiculous All right, last attempt and then we're gonna continue We're probably not in the right covenant to invade successfully. Gonna change that later. <laughs> well, if this doesn't work, we're gonna probably try to take on the drake. Oh, there was somebody. Put my sign here in 
invasion cancelled, yeah, well, I can't do both, apparently. <laughs> yeah, but we're not gonna wait for somebody to call us. But if they do, we'll help. Sneaking up and stab him. Simple. Um, oh, actually, we forgot a black knight now that I see where we head. Where we're heading. Well, let's do that as the last thing, and then next video, gonna try to kill us some Drake. Summon sign disappeared, yes. So we are back. At the gate, just jump down there. Get this. Take out these guys. Slice and dice. As you can see, the, the pig is gone. Alright, now for another black knight. Heading up these stairs. Do it slowly when you get further up. Yes, can hear the drake, but he is not gonna do anything. Oh god. Yeah, so much for the. Sneak attack surprise. Is he coming? Yes. So, just run up down here. No point in fighting him up there. Unless you really want to be a, a pro. So he should be following me. Yes, there he is. Again. Stay close. And get behind him. He has incredible reach with that huge sword. God. Oh god! And I died. Yeah. New game plus. You have a high level character, we don't fucking care. Alright, now we're undead again, so we can't be invaded. Let's head back, collect our stuff, and then try that again. That strong attack really ripped me apart. So yeah, let's make it count this time. these guys again for easy souls. Like, if you die, I would recommend always kill everything in your path, because you will need a lot of souls. And this is an easy way to get souls if you don't want to spend time farming for them. I'm very likely to farm some souls at some point. I'm probably not gonna videotape it. Alright. 
Let's do this better this time. Let's try to get the sneak attack in. That would help a lot. And then we might actually fight him up here. Alright. I think I went a bit high the first time, so just make sure you don't get exactly. He should turn around. So we're gonna try and be sneaky. And we failed. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Wah. Is he gonna jump on me? He is gonna jump on me. Holy crap. Yeah. On your head. Alright, alright. Come on, come on. Oh god. Not that swiping shit again. Come on! I'm doing this so horribly right now. This is how, not how you sh should do it. There we go. Titanite chunk. Oh, I need the shield from those guys still. But whatever. We killed them. We didn't die again. Alright. Now what we are... Are we... Not sure, actually. We're gonna stop the video here. And then we're gonna... Probably face off against the Drake. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next video.